Hello and welcome to the Sacred Gates. My name is Ilura and welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, thank you so much for subscribing. It's been great to see more subscribers joining us. I hope you're enjoying the videos and today the podcast videos. And I was wondering today what I would do a video or a topic on uh, as it, I've left it a little bit longer than normal as I was feeling different things coming up. But I and, and I was going to do a video following on from the last one, which was about how mobile phones are rewiring our, bo our minds, our brains and thus our bodies. And I've been wanting to do a video, a kind of a follow up video on that in regards to some recent technology that actually helps to correct your alignment and in a way of reminding you to sit up straight and some things like that. So I'll do a video on that very soon as I find this quite interesting and uh, reflective of how our lifestyles have affected our bodies so much that we have these things that correct our bodies for us and just I suppose the pros and cons of that. But I just was intuiting that an interesting video or an interesting podcast episode would be on vocal tension and the voice the voice cords, vocal cords, because I'm really getting back into singing and I'm thinking of getting some singing lessons as I'm a naturally, I'm a natural singer born able to sing, but I've never really learned properly how to sing. And so I have some issues with singing and, and getting the sound out the way I'd like it to. So I'm going to change that. But something that I've become more and more aware of since I've been looking into my own speaking voice and my own singing voice is the sound of people's vocal cords and how when you listen to someone speaking it says a lot about where they're at that you can really map how someone is and where someone's coming from and most importantly where someone really is underneath and deep down in them, themselves through the sound of their voice so for example I can tell a lot about where my son is at uh, when he speaks um, when there's, if I can hear vocal cord, I can kind of feel here, so psychic feeling, hearing, where what he's feeling via the amount and the type of and where the tension lies on his vocal cord. So that's been an interesting journey for me is, is learning to understand him more intuitively through listening to his vocal cord. So what I thought I would do today is to, I haven't actually done it yet, so I'll, I'll stop this, this podcast in a second then edit it all into this video for you, is to take a few voice clips of different people and, and let's kind of map them together to hear what we can hear. And it, it's no way an attack on anybody. It's just literally training ourselves. This always comes back to how we're progressing and training ourselves. So I thought it'd be interesting to hear. So it's more of an exploration on our own ability to, to sense. And we may or may not be right. I think when you're training your psychic hearing, feeling ability, it's not always really important that you are right and sometimes you will never find out if you are right about what that person's feeling you have no way of actually asking them but what it's about doing is opening up your ability to explore and sometimes you need to be able to guess and try to figure out and try to to aim for being aligned with what's really going on but really let's focus on exploration as the goal of this video so I'm going to now go and find some voice clips for us to explore and feel here what I call feel here and so we can train our our ear our feeling ear to pick up on the vocal cords of other people which will ultimately in our own lives in integrating this ability into our own lives help us with our own vocal cords when we're when we're speaking ourselves to other people and if you speak to yourself on your own then that could also be helpful and also for picking up on people's voices around us whether it's other members of our family like I have done or you know your boss at work and just getting to know and learn about each other develop compassion for each other and compassion deeper compassion for ourselves which really is about understanding ourselves through in this instance the tool of the vocal cords as an expression of where people are at of our own truth and other people's truth okay let's go So I wanted to include in these vocal tracks that we're going to listen to 
news reporters. So I've chosen one from Australia and then also one from America. And we definitely noticed listening to the news in my family when COVID first came and we're keeping a track on Australia, what was happening in Australia. And we noticed that particularly Australian news reporters have a particular quality in their vocal cords. And also we noticed also in other news reporters, there's something similar but different to every culture. So as you can hear, the vocal cords in those little tracks of the news reporters, the Australian one there, and then the one that's going to follow is American. There's a lot of pressure, therefore a compressing of the vocal cords, a narrowing of the vocal cords, which creates a feeling of urgency and emergency and stress for the listener. It's pushing and forcing in my ears that I hear a feeling through the vocal cords which helps to channel a certain energy and emotion through the vocal cords of the, the, the speaker and thus channels a fear into the listener. It definitely makes you alert, with which, which is what the, its goal is. Breaking news tonight on COVID booster shots as cases rise from coast to coast. The new reporting, the FDA could greenlight booster shots for all adults this week, giving tens of millions of Americans extra protection as we head into the holidays. It comes as cases rise in 24 states and major news tonight on Pfizer's COVID pill. So this next track that you're going to hear is a vocal, is someone's vocal cords when they are in, they are being questioned about the murder of their husband. So it's a woman, an American woman who I found on YouTube who was eventually um, made guilty for this. She was actually guilty of this crime. But at this point, she's just being interviewed about her involvement with her husband's death. And pay attention to the quality of her vocal cords. And what you might hear as I hear is that she's lying, first of all. Now, how do we know that she's lying? There's a certain amount of compression in her vocal cords. And if you might hear, she kind of crunches them and bends them. She's trying to bend the truth, bend the, the sound of her voice, bend the meaning of her true actions and trying to bend the listener, the police officer's opinion of her. And she does this by actually bending and crunching her vocal cords. I guess like any marriage, we have our problems. I mean, we have ups and downs and things like that, but nothing, nothing was, you know. Nothing major, just. I mean, he's, he and my middle son have a lot of, I don't know, they butt. Bicker and back and forth. They butt heads a lot. We've been in counseling about that over the last, you know, six months. We've got, you know, so, I mean, what, I was frustrated, yes. I was irritated with my marriage. He was like, come meet me at the park. You know, it's all secluded. You know, it'll right. be, I mean, we'll exchange our Valentines. The next vocal track you're going to hear, I'm not going to tell you straight away who it is. You may already know through their voice, but when I see, it's really interesting because I'm actually putting this together as I'm writing or talking to you now through or um, shot shortcut which is my software for doing these videos and it shows the vocal pitches and peaks in the voice whether it's my voice or someone else in the visual aid in shortcut and this particular speaker is really staccato it's really up and down like buck, 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 when i see it on the screen which is quite interesting so i'll tell you who it is at the end but just have a listen to where this speaker is coming from, where he is speaking from energetically, if you're connecting to the chakras, to his emotions, listen to how cerebral and choppy, and in a way how non-heart centered his voice is, and his pitch and resonance, and what this says about him. Is he being honest? Is he being authentic? Is he trying to run away? Just pay attention to how this voice makes you feel. Uh, you know, I had, dinners with him. Uh, I regret doing that. He had relationships with uh, people he said, you know, would give to Global Health, which is a uh, interest I have, you know, not nearly enough philanthropy goes in that direction. Uh, you know, those meetings were, were a mistake. They didn't result in uh, what he purported and I cut them off. You know, that goes back a long time ago now. Did you guess whose voice that belonged to? It's Bill Gates being interviewed on PBS. So just interesting to reflect on his psychology being expressed through his vocal cords and how he compresses and restricts them 
in response to being questioned about something very controversial. Okay, so this is our second last vocal set of vocal cords that we're observing and exploring the quality of so that we can become better observers and mappers ourselves. And we are going to now listen to this vocal track. It's of a woman and just have a listen to her attitude of her, listen to her emotional body being, how her emotional body is being expressed through her vocal cords in this moment. So dating in 2020 is a lost cause, I've decided. In talking to my girlfriends, I realized that we are praising men for doing the bare minimum. It's like, we'll go on a date, I'm guilty of this too, and be like, oh, guys, he was just so sweet, he opened the car door for me. Or, oh, guys, he was so sweet, he planned the date. Like, duh, why wouldn't he open the door for you or plan the date? Like, why are we praising men for literally doing the basic? Now, without sharing my own opinion on that particular vocal expression, just going into the actual mechanics of it, that woman is expressing an opinion and she's doing it in an entitled way. So it's kind of become just focused on one opinion. And the feeling I get with her vocal cords is that, and with anyone who is being entitled and expressing that one opinion that they feel entitled to and feel very passionate about in that moment, we constrict our vocal cords. It's like it goes through a funnel and then suddenly the vocal cords get constricted closer to the bottom of the funnel and then the vocal cords get so constricted they kind of go in a straight line like where the funnel you know, goes into a bottle and just pours directly into one channel. And that's the feeling I get when I listen to her emotional body. It's a really direct expression of how she's feeling right or wrong and it's just getting totally totally compressed and restricted into this very narrow line and it ends up being like a whingy whiny which essentially whinging and whining like people children do it's it kind of has that feeling it grates on your nerves because it's so constricted and, and very narrow it's become very very narrow in order for it to be a whine and it becomes very entitled and one tracked and very small and kind of closed off so it does feel constricted and naturally people don't really like listening to voices like that it's just a natural response we have to contracting and the vocal cords when it's very obvious okay so now for our last track is just a small portion of an interview that i found online where Stuart Pierce is being interviewed and helping the interviewer find his note. Stuart Pierce is a vocalist, he's a vocal coach, he's quite magnetic and you'll hear in his voice quality is very rich and beautiful and he's really explored it in a, in a book that I've read called The Alchemy of Voice, which is like a practical guide to transforming and enriching your life by working with your voice. And you'll listen to what he's saying. He's giving an example of speaking from two different or three different parts of your body in a way, it's from the lower Dantian, so the lower register, speaking also from just from the head, from the mind, more of the intellect, and then bringing those two levels together and speaking more in a, a place from the heart and what that sounds like. So just have a listen here. Okay. If you imagine that the whole of my range is sitting here mm -hmm. on a horizontal frequency, like mm -hmm. a keyboard, we know that the most important thing about a keyboard is that it has a middle, mm -hmm. which we call a middle C, which divides the treble from the bass. So if I relate that to my voice. If I play with my right hand and my right hand alone, you get a lot of treble. Sound like a New Yorker. Yeah, OK. <laughs> now, I mean, the interesting thing about this sound is that it is the sound of the cerebral consciousness of today. And, uh, and if I'm you know, going into that nasality, which is often heard in this city, <laughs> which has only really grown over like 50 years, you know what I'm saying? Do you know? Yeah, yeah. OK, so we produce this sort of energy. But something radical has happened to me in the sense that I'm no longer really the person that I was, OK? Right, because your so, voice is different. Right? If I go right down here like this, mm. if I carry on talking to you like this, you'll probably fall asleep <laughs> um, or think I'm psychotic, so I won't talk down here. But if I'm playing with both hands, mm -hmm. you can hear a treble, the treble and the bass mixed together. Mm. So suddenly, the whole of my being has changed. So isn't that inter interesting and informative of how where Stuart Pierce uses his voice? He speaks from different parts of his body and they have a dramatic effect on not only his body, but on how the other person feels and how that other person feels about you. So he did write this great book that I actually have read a couple of times. It's called The Alchemy of Voice, Transform and Enrich Your Life Through the Power of Your Voice. And I'm just going to read a small part of it out to you. So here it is. It's in chapter one, The Origin of Sound. Sound has an immense creative force. 
It is a prime component of molecular energy, affects matter and therefore has a dramatic impact on the landscape of the world within and without us. Indeed, from time immemorial, it has been believed that sound is at the core of creation and shapes the universe within which we live. Dwell for a moment on the very truth of your birth. In a sense, your first creative act as you entered the world, your first independent action was to breathe and then to make sound, the sound of your creation. Since then, each time you've made a sound, you've recreated yourself. Over the centuries, we have developed an understanding of the transformative power of sound and have come to understand how, as a living force, sound also has the ability to transmute life. It can transform our thoughts and feelings and therefore the very substance of state of our bodies. For a simple illustration of this, think of how dramatically harsh the sound of a drill or a car horn can be when it shocks us from a moment of personal reflection. This radical understanding has led scientists to explore exciting new horizons, such as the development of sound wave instruments that have the power to transform all cellular energy, consequently heal the human body. Yet of all the sounds that exist, I believe the human voice is the most powerful. Its living, breathing, creative force gives us the ability to make wondrous changes in our thinking and feeling, our creating and constructing. For the power of our voice crystallizes thought, and so its energy may be used to transmute our outlook, attitude, beliefs, creativity and physical presence. It transforms our lives. Think of the way a certain piece of music can have a profound effect on your mood. Now imagine that there is a far greater power within you, which is available at all times and which, when directed by you, can affect not only your mood, but your entire outlook and belief about your personal power in the world. This instrument of sound you possess, your voice, can become your own liberating, creative and life-changing force. So as I return to exploring my voice more and also offering more podcast style rather than video posts on YouTube, I'm definitely revisiting the power of my own voice. And this is why I wanted to show some clips on how much other people's voices affect us, how much information is conveyed through our own voices and other people's voices, a true resonating reflection of how we are and how we feel about ourselves and about other people in the world. So I hope this video has been interesting for you and that from this video, I invite you to listen to your own voice at different times of the day speaking with different people the tone the feeling the quality and also to listen to other people's voices perhaps there's someone that you're having to deal with at the moment in your life or someone that you really love that you want to understand better and to bring your resonating feeling psychic ability to hear feel the quality of other people's voices and your own to help bring more peace and healing into your life. So thanks for tuning in guys and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't already. Share and comment as always and yes please leave a comment in the in below if you would like to share any feedback that you felt about the different speakers that I had snippets and samples of it'd be great to hear what you thought as well because I only shared what I noticed in the moment but you would have also of course experienced your own understanding of what you were hearing in their vocal cords so please feel free to comment and share your opinions on that too. Thank you for watching this video. Now before you go, remember to take advantage of the Sacred Gates hand-picked healing services made available to you now on Patreon. By clicking the link in the description in this video, you can gain access to deeply healing guided meditations, monthly Teixeira transmission, carefully selected and taught restorative techniques, and last but not least, after many years away, it would seem that I am restoring my love for singing and songwriting and I joyfully share these healing songs with you over on Patreon. Become a patron of the Sacred Gates today, the perfect solution to effortlessly experiencing self-healing as a sure thing in your life. Let me show you the way to my heart Let me show you who you really are Let me show you the way to my heart I am on you I am here in full support of you Feel your 
selfish and I'll make it true When you both watch you love in the world I just flow Will you show me the way to your heart? Can you feel this healing light around you? Relax into it, go on and let me through It is safe, it is time to share your gifts with this world I am here I am everywhere I am infinite I am there when you dare I'm in your next step Relax me through your heart Remind you of who I am Show me who you I am money. Ooh, I am. I love you. Create safety for you. You appreciate me, and I appreciate you. Stable. Safe, secure, rest, relax, restore, hear your wisdom support you in the abundance that you are, peaceful, present, clear.